This video is sponsored by iFixit. I bought six broken GoPro cameras. Unfortunately, GoPro is known for their non-repairability, but today I'm gonna try and fix them anyways. I paid $641 for these six GoPros. We have four GoPro 7 Blacks and two GoPro 8 Blacks. Now, as I already mentioned, one of the problems with GoPros is they're extremely hard to repair. One of the main problems is these pieces are all just glued together with very strong adhesive. The other problem is even if I were to be able to get this disassembled and keep it in decent condition, unfortunately there are very, very few parts for these and the parts that are out there are very expensive. So this video should be an adventure. I'm gonna test each GoPro to see what works and what doesn't, then I'll get to the repair attempts. Surprisingly, this GoPro actually does work, even the screen works. So let's move on to the next GoPro. And GoPro number two has a crack right here across this front lens. The rear LCD and touchscreen looks good. Let's see if it'll start up for us. Okay, and there we go. So far it looks good. Actually, this screen looks really clear. I don't know if that crack is even messing up the view. It's right here. I'm not sure if that's enough to really mess anything up. I think I'm gonna have to test this one by taking some video and pictures and see if that line can even be seen. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Test that and then see if we even need to replace this or not. I mean, obviously it's broken. So if I resell these, I certainly wouldn't be able to call it used. I would have to sell it for parts or repair. But at the same time, I could sell for parts of repair and mention that this front lens is cracked, but that it does work fine and it's not noticeable, which means it would still generate a good amount of income and probably some profit on this unit. GoPro number three has the same problem, except for this time the crack goes just right under the main lens. So I'm assuming this one is gonna be a little more serious. And also it looks like we do have a crack on the back LCD. So that's not great news. I'm gonna turn this one on and see if we can see that crack in the front. Yep, definitely. The rear screen, LCD and touch screen does seem to work even though there is this crack. Here we go with GoPro number four. The front lens looks fine. We have this missing cover here that I do have, so that should be no problem. The rear LCD, however, definitely does not look good. Let's see if the rear LCD works. There are no problems at all with this rear LCD, even though it is shattered right here. I think this one I might try to replace just to see how hard it is. I know it's gonna be extremely difficult, if not impossible, and that's only if I can find the part for it. But also I wanna see if this is even possible to do. So I think I will try to replace this one. It's really hard to wanna do that since it does work and this one, it seems to be fully functional so far. But at the same time, the point of this video is to see if I can fix these. So I'm gonna get one of these parts ordered up so I can try to repair it. GoPro number five also has a cracked rear LCD. We also have some problems down here. Now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm gonna try this one to fix the LCD because this one's already messed up. The case is already gouged right here. So this is a great one to try to repair. And if I find that it's not possible, then we know that the other ones that need this repair still do work and I don't have to fix them because they will work as is. And our last GoPro is another GoPro 8 Black with another broken rear LCD. Definitely works. Let's see if the rear LCD still works. And yes, it does. I see no problems there, no dead spots. Oh, nope. We do have a dead spot right here. So this is gonna be a great one to try and fix. So I'm gonna order up the part we need for this and see if we can fix this rear LCD and touchscreen. So we have an idea of what's wrong with all six. Now I gotta get the parts, then we'll try the repairs. Here is the LCD that I got. And here are two of the front lenses that I got. 
I'm gonna first try replacing one of the front lenses and see if we can do that. Then we'll move on to the LCD. This is GoPro number three that has a crack right here. I have already tried twisting this off with my fingers, but unfortunately I cannot get it off. So I had to bring in a tool that not even iFixit sells. Let's try getting this off with a pair of channel locks. And get this right in the corner. I don't wanna to go too far down because that will actually mar up the actual case of the GoPro, which I don't wanna do. Okay, and here we go. Come on, oh, got it. Okay, now I have to see if the part I got will fit. So this is the new part. This is the old one. It's interesting, there's a gold ring around the inside of this one. You can see this rubber gasket right here. That's why this is so difficult to get off because this gasket has to fit in there very tight to keep the waterproofing intact. Okay, so let's try this and see if we can get it to go on. Oh, almost. I didn't get it pushed on quite enough over here. Did I get it? Ah, there we go. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. It's extremely difficult to get this lens off. As you saw, I did have to use this pair of big channel locks. I tried it with my fingers. I even tried it with a smaller pair of pliers and it just would not come off. So that's one thing to keep in mind. These are extremely difficult, but definitely replaceable. So let's move on to the next GoPro that needs the front lens changed and try to change that and see if it works the same way. Oh, there we go. That one actually wasn't as hard. Okay, this one does have a few little pieces of dust on the lens, so I need to get that off. Ah, got it. Okay. So this GoPro 7 Black is in excellent condition now. I don't see any other problems. The rear LCD could use a cleaning. Other than that, this one is working great and looking great. So I fixed two GoPros so far, and now it's time to get to the very difficult repair. I'm gonna see if I can replace the rear LCD and digitizer on a GoPro 8 Black. Unfortunately, the only way to get to this is to get to it from the front. So I have to find a way to remove this front piece, and that will help me get to the back screen. First thing I'm gonna try is heating it up with my hot air station and then getting a pry tool into this crack right here and trying to pry the front off. So now I'm gonna get my hot air station warmed up and see if I can get this front piece off. Whoa, okay, and there we go, that came off. And uh, it looks like I might have damaged this a little bit. We'll see if that recovers at all. Definitely a dark spot, and you can see I, that's probably where my blade went through. I can't tell if anything else is damaged, but good news is we did get that off. Let's inspect this front cover. Yeah, unfortunately you can see how my pry tool went right up here probably caused some damage there. It's definitely bent. I'm not, I don't think it's actually melted very much, but it's hard to really tell. And it looks like most of the adhesive or the waterproofing is right around this area and then along the edge as well. So I think with some practice, I could probably perfect this and make this an actual, you know, viable repair. So we're at least down to screws. I can deal with screws much easier. I'm guessing there's gonna be some more adhesive in here somewhere, but let's get the screws out and figure out what else is down in here. When in doubt, take more screws out. There we go.
Yep, there's a little black plate and under this plate, I think there's gonna be some screws, maybe. Ah, there we go. Okay, and here we go. So now with that off, we can see this screw right down here. Okay, now this should all go much easier. You can see this is another blue ceiling ring. I love when they use ceiling rings versus a bunch of adhesive because ceiling rings you can remove and put back on and whatever you need to do. Adhesive is a pain to use and it's very difficult to put back correctly once you remove it. Okay. Oh wow, look at all these ribbon cables. So I just looked at this part again and the biggest problem I have right now is that this screen is for a GoPro 7, not a GoPro 8. Unfortunately, I don't see any screens available for the GoPro 8, no matter where I look online. So this repair is gonna have to wait. Hopefully at some point I'll be able to find a rear LCD for this and then we can finish this repair. But for now, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to move on to another GoPro. At least this gives us a look on the inside and shows that with the right methods, these could be sort of repairable, even though it's extremely, extremely difficult. Since we know that the LCD we have is for a GoPro 7 Black, this is a GoPro 7 Black that has a broken rear LCD. So let's try replacing this especially because this one is already messed up on the bottom. So if we mess it up more, it's really not as big of a deal. Okay, and there we go. I think I think this front piece is definitely a little bent and melted, but I might be able to still make it work. I'm not totally sure yet. We'll be looking at that here in a little bit. Now we have the screws in it, just like the other one. This one's got a little, oh no, that's fine. So I was able to, I think I was able to do a better job at not breaking this LCD or marking it up. There is a little bit of a mark there, but I tried to avoid it as I was going around with my pry tool. And you can see this is the waterproofing and unfortunately that's probably not gonna be anything I can fix. It probably won't ever be waterproof again, but I still wanna see if I can get to that LCD and see if it's fixable. Okay, I like the look of that. So now I have to figure out how to get down in here. I need to get all this metal out or maybe just push this out. I'm not really sure the best way to get that out. I'm gonna unplug all the ribbon cables first so we can just hopefully completely remove this piece so we don't damage anything. And then we'll see what else we can do. So maybe I'm thinking maybe if I heat this up around here, maybe this all pushes out the back possibly. I don't see anything that would keep it from coming out the back. So I think that's what I'm gonna try. Okay, I mean, that's not necessarily ideal, but at the same time I am getting some of it off. So now I'm gonna go through and clean up this frame, 
Then I'll see if I can slip the new LCD in and see if we can actually get this thing back together and make it work. I've got the old screen out. I have to clean up this edge a little bit. I've moved the battery tray over just a little bit so I can get the ribbon cables through. So now I just have to finish cleaning up this edge and put some adhesive down. And then hopefully I can fit the new screen on, place it in, and then put it all back together. Okay, I have the edges mostly clean. I couldn't get all the adhesive off. It's like sort of like a silicone type adhesive or something. So I just couldn't get it all off, but I do have the new Tessa tape installed. So that should hold the new screen on very nicely. So now I'm gonna remove the backing. Then we gotta get this new screen put in. So it's gonna go, these cables go down like this, then it folds over like this, I believe I got it. Nope, no, 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 no. This is how it goes. So it's gotta go down there like that. Then the screen fits down on there like that. So I'm actually gonna fit the cables down here first to make sure I can get those in there. There we go. Now we have the cables through. So now we can remove the backing on the tape and then fit that screen down on there. Okay. So the screen cables are all down. Come on. Okay. Seems to fit in there okay. As I said in the beginning, this is definitely not gonna be waterproof. But if I can make it so the screen will actually stick in there how it should, I would be happy with that. These cables, I believe, stick on this, like that, and like that. I think, we might have to redo those. Okay, what do we think? I mean, so far it looks okay, but the real question is, can we get this together and have it still work. Now I have to remember how this goes in here. So this goes down here like this, and all those cables go on there. Let's try and get the cables on first. So I think I had the battery cable first, and then the other ribbon cables. Okay, easy enough. So now I'm gonna try and heat this front piece up and see if I can kind of re-bend it back so it will fit on here how it should. Because right now it's just too bent to really fit on there very well. So that's what I'm gonna try next and hopefully we can get it to look mostly normal. So now we have it a little closer. It's definitely not perfect, but now I'm gonna put some adhesive around here and even a little bit of he adhesive here to try and hopefully get that to actually stick on the frame of the GoPro. So I'm gonna add the adhesive and then we'll stick it on and see if it stays. Okay, so now I have Tessa tape in all the places I felt like I could put it. It's not gonna be perfect, not gonna be exact. And I don't know how well that front piece will stay on, but hopefully enough to make this a usable GoPro. Let's see if I can put this on and if it will actually stay there. I mean, it's definitely not pretty. I'm actually gonna fire up my hot air station and heat this all up and hopefully that will get all of the adhesive to really set. And then hopefully that'll make it stay. Okay, and it is definitely not perfect. There's a little more of a gap there than I would like to see, but it is stuck there. Like it's not just gonna come off too easily. You can see, you know, it'll, it'll come off if you pull real hard, but overall it's not too bad. It's definitely ugly and 
Not a repair that I would recommend, it's very difficult, but I think I have it installed correctly and hopefully it might even work. Let's put a battery in and see if it turns on. Okay, let's see if it turns on. Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. The front screen works and so does the back screen. Let's see if the touch feature works. And it definitely does. There are no dead spots that I can see. Okay. So while I definitely did repair this back screen and digitizer on the GoPro, it is definitely not an easy repair. And unfortunately, you basically have to, I wouldn't say ruin, but break the front case and make it look very ugly to even replace this back screen. So the GoPro 7 Black is definitely not something that is easily repairable. And unfortunately, in my opinion, GoPro is making it that way on purpose. There are ways to make stuff like this waterproof and repairable. As you saw with the GoPro 8 Black, they use gaskets like this in quite a few areas, and those can work very well to waterproof things instead of just using adhesive that generally isn't reusable and is very difficult to take stuff apart when they use super strong adhesive. So while GoPros are great to use and they're very good at what they do, unfortunately, they're just not repairable. Now I do have these two other GoPros here, but since they do work exactly how they are, I'm actually not gonna repair them because to repair them is gonna be damaging them even more. So I'm just gonna leave them as is and use them as is or sell them as is. Unfortunately, the trend I see with more and more companies is to make their devices not repairable. So when they break, you basically just have to throw them away and buy a new one. That's extremely sad, especially when you're paying hundreds of dollars for these devices and the parts to fix them sometimes can cost as little as a few dollars. But as long as these devices are being manufactured, you can count on me to be here to try and fix them. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to iFixit for sponsoring this video. Go to iFixit.com slash TronixFix for $10 off your order of $50 or more. And thank you for watching.